I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to make quick decisions. There are a couple of reasons why you would want to make quick decisions and practice that skill. First, if you are playing with people who are better than you, it can kind of desensitize you to that pressure or anxiety by pushing yourself to make quick decisions. Also, if you ever want to play in a tournament, you've got to play a 12 minute game. This is a great way to prepare for competitive play. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We are going to do three sprints. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13 tiles, and then 14 tiles. And I'll create a mock Charleston for each sprint. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. Dragons, four, five, six, nine, pung of fives, pair seven, five, seven, five, six. I think I would keep four, five, six, seven, six, seven. I think I would pass those and probably let up, let that dragon go. Focus on number tiles. No keepers, five, six, seven of some kind. Seven, seven, dragons, that one can go, four, five, six, seven, four, five, four, five, six, seven, I think I would break this one up, oh my goodness, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, I think I would risk passing two dragons, okay, we got a six, Five, six, seven, eight. Three tiles to pass. Oh my gosh. I hope no one would ever pass a flower. Let's see, pair of flowers. Five, six, seven. Six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight. We'll pass those. No keepers. No keepers. Ooh, wait, wait. That's a keeper. Five, six, seven, eight. I would pass two. Lap. Oh my goodness, that was rough. <laughs> but look what we have. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. If we get white dragons, we could play the concealed hand. Or we could play five, six, seven flowers. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. Lots of options. If you would have done something different with these tiles, write sprint one in the comment section below with what you would do. Okay, wins, dragon, one. I would start with the one, one. 
We could maybe play little odds or something with wins. So let's pass these three. How about those three? Okay, flower and a two with an east. East, two, one, two, eight, dragon. Let's let the fives go. One, two, one, two, news. One, two, let's let this one bam go. Flower, oh my goodness. Okay, three, one, news. Eight, let's let the three go. Two, one, two, eights, news, one, two, news, east. I think I would let these go. Focus on one, two. I wouldn't pass like numbers. One, west, eight, five, three, four, three, four. Five, six, three, four, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, e six, flower, sevens, four. I would break that up. Lap. Lap. Oh my goodness. I would maybe play a quint, but we could also play one, two, three. One, three, discards. Yikes, that was challenging. Oh my gosh. Okay, one more, one more. Sprint three. Now, if you would have done something differently with these tiles, right, sprint two. We're gonna do sprint three now. Wow, one nine 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 one three one three five nine one two seven. I think I would keep number tiles in here. Let's pass one two west two four. We really mostly have odds. Let's keep the red dragon. One, three, nine. Okay, let's pass south. Two, four. One, two, red. Oh my gosh, look, reds. Okay, one, three, nine, one. Like numbers with ones, like numbers with nines. East two. Let's let the seven go. Oh, wait a minute. Five, seven. Nine nine five seven nine nine. Let's let the one bam go. If we can get more flowers, sixes, I would break up the red and then maybe do six like this. One six red green. Oh, like numbers one six green. Okay. Threes? Oh my gosh. What about three, six, nine? What in the world? Three, six, nine? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Three, nine, five, seven. Ones, six. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Let's let the six go. Whoops. Eights with a one. Okay, 
We can just do two. Oh my goodness, lap. Yikes. Okay, so we have a 369 hand. Oh, look. Maybe we could play 369 concealed. Or if we get a flower and 5 7 paired up, we can do 5 7 9 9 and use this for Joker bait. So we have three discards with two options. We're straddling categories for a little bit, but I think that's how I would play it. Three discards, five, seven, nine, nine, or some kind of three, six, nine. If you would have done something differently with Sprint 3, write it in the comment section below with your thoughts. And let's see how things went with time. You can make quick decisions by gathering tiles and not picking a hand till you run out of discards. Look for the strength of your hand, gather supporting tiles, play a category that will use most of your tiles. When you run out of discards, pause a beat, look at the card, whittle out chaff and keep going. By not looking at the card all the time and trying to analyze every single decision, you can make quicker decisions. Train yourself by doing Charleston sprints. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.